so don't be like me and use the spacer you're gonna buy the adapters I'm about to show you and you're gonna use those here's the adapter you can get them on Amazon or directly through the people but um, more or less it spaces the speaker out away because uh, right now my windows hitting it here's the contact information form here's the part number for the front speakers I'm using front door you're gonna take a pick of some sort slide it in to the little spot up top boom pop it out done take a flathead or plastic if you care more about your interior just pop it off just like that take your Phillips screw gun or you can do it by hand if you really want and I can't see anyways you got three of these one in the door handle up here one here and one here You're going to go around with a panel popper and you're just going to make sure every panel uh, plastic clip is unpopped. You're going to also pop this little black piece off. Just work it nice. You don't want to break it. We're going to undo all the electrical now. Undo this one undo this one there's one all the way on the bottom does a little door light and then open this pull these two cables loose like that and then find the groove and they'll pop right out we're gonna work with the tweeter first because the glue I'm using needs to dry RTV whatever so undo these two here You'll be reusing this hardware and the mount. Put that down. Come over here. And you're going to push the little clip here and unplug it. Here's a tweeter I have for my Alpines. Um, if you were going to drill a hole in the door, this would have been perfect. But it's not what I'm doing. So that's all trash. And this is all I'm going to use, and it's going to go right in here. But before that, I need to get rid of this, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You're going to start by just cutting the wires, getting that shit out of here. Then here, there's like some goop, so you want to get this goop out of here so that you can undo the mount part once you clear it out it's just a Phillips you're gonna unscrew this so now that disconnected the tweeter from the housing but you still have to take all this crap off so grab a knife just cut it all off you're not gonna use any of this trash I clipped the leads here just to get this out easier and then now I'm gonna take some pliers pull out this and clean out this gap because this is where the new wire is gonna sit in so the tweeter is still too big right so what I'm gonna do is make a series of drill holes around here up until this wall let me get a potent pointer so up until here I'm gonna do drill holes all the way around because if you try to just cut it with a pair of dikes or something it's gonna break the housing and you don't want that to happen putting too much stress on everything so I cut I drilled holes this way and then I drilled a hole this way and one this way which is why this is blown out so now you take your handy dandy dikes and now you can just cut it without having to worry about anything bad happening put the wire through that same spot and then now it'll sit like this but 
I need something to hold it because this isn't threaded. I can't use the same screw. So my handy dandy right stuff is what I go for. And I just put it all over the place in here. And then we'll put it down. I'll put some tape on it for a little bit, let it cure, and then uh, pull the tape off. While this tweeter is curing, just sort of leave it up there out of the way. You're going to take the three Phillips screws out of the speaker. So we're going to go ahead and verify the uh, polarity. Looks like left and left and right and right. You're going to match it up like this. So left is brown. Brown is on the thick terminal, so that's positive. So brown actually is brown with a white stripe is positive. Green just green is negative on the front passenger side. Pre-install the factory screws. I'm going to take a little bit of caulk and to cut down on vibration I'm going to put a little bit all the way around. Not a lot, just enough to form some sort of rubber buffer. You're going to put this square flange up and the two pointy flanges down. And then just screw it in by hand. You don't want to damage the rings. These are the screws that come with the adapters. You're going to use four per speaker housing. Once you find four holes that line up, you're going to Give it steady pressure, don't push too hard. Thread them in and keep it to where it's loose. Then remove the speaker. Now we're going to put the caulk and put the screws back on. There we go, hand tight. Now it spaces it out enough. So you see the metal on the window in dead center of the screen right now? That was hitting the magnet before and now it looks like it's going to clear no problem. I still have to pull the speaker wire slack, um, but that's not a problem. So after I pulled the slack for the feed lines, I cut them equal length, stripped them, Now I'm going to crimp these together. The tweeter one you can't really do anything with because it has ends on it, so I'll show you how to deal with that. Um, but yeah, this extra wire can go away, so let's crimp this together. So plug in the tweeter wires, and they're long like this now. So what we're going to do is, we're going to use this as a tie point. So we're going to lift that like that, and then we're just going to bend, fold it, fold it, fold it, and then tape it. I'm going to add more tape, but this is what I was talking about. So you just fold it a bunch. And there we have it. So, we let the tweet tweeter dry, and then we take off the tape, and then we can put the door panel back on. I put the little foam ring that came with um, the components around the tweeter, just to sort of seal it against the door, maybe stop a little vibrations. I don't know if it'll do anything really. But, I put it anyways. Now we're going to put the door back. Push the cable into here. Once you get the big ball in the bottom, little ball goes on top. Push it in. Shut the door. Take the door. You're going to hang it first on the top. Like that. Make sure the clips are lined up before you pound it in, otherwise, you'll break the clips. So you got a screw here, screw here, screw here. First way I do it, I start the bottom one, then I push so it's flush, tighten it up, grab the top trim, line it up, push it in, grab the door trim, snap that in, and then the bottom trim, the one with the dick sticking out the bottom, is the bottom and you slide this over 
Here's the part number for the rear speakers that I'm using. Right, you're going to take a peek. You're going to put a peek in this little hole on top. There's a little slit. And you're going to pull it and unclip it here. There's a little thing here. You're going to grab it and pull. And it'll unclip. Then you're going to grab a flathead screwdriver. You're going to go in here. I already sort of got it started, so I will, you guys wouldn't have to watch me fight it. And then, boom, it just pulls off. There's three screws, one here, one here, and one here. So you just grab them out, chuck them off to the side. This one's on an angle up. This one's on an angle down. What the hell? Don't fight me! Now you're going to take panel popper. You're going to come all the way around. Just work your way around the door. Popping them all loose. And then you're going to lift up. You have a clip here for the wiring. You just push it down, wiggle it, and that comes off. Then over here, this door opens, you pull the two wires out like this, and then they'll come out. There's a little slot, and they'll come out, and now you can take the door and put it down. You're going to have three screws around the speaker to pull it out. So just take them out. Here is the bracket that came with my speakers. You should probably get something similar in yours. This is what I did to it. So, I uh, pretty much hacked the shit out of everything, I, except for this I left so I can use these self-tappers right here. Then the only other screws out of the kit you're going to use are the short machine screws that came with the speakers to attach them to these. All of these you're not going to use, so you mount it sort of however it will rotate to fit to where you have a semi-flat surface to uh, put the self-tappers in. Then plug in the speaker, and I like to put the speaker terminals up, um, just because I don't know how much you know water or whatever gets in here. Should never be that much, but anyways, I put the terminals up. You do whatever the hell you want. Now the speaker screwed in. Uh, next step would be to put the door back on. First thing you're gonna do is just plug the electrical in. And that'll sort of hold the door so you can mess with this. Um, so, fit it in the ball, ball in the whole thing. And then you clip it in there. Do the same thing for the top one. Boom, and then shut the door. Once you have that, hook the top of the door, push down, and then as long as it's centered nice, you should hear all the snaps clicking in. Now we're going to put the three screws in. Take this little window door thing, put it in, push it, it'll clip, that's done. Then you grab this handle. You just sort of pop it on. I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step video on how to put speakers in this Outback. Uh, a lot of the videos I've seen were either not videos or they, you know, they were on forums or whatever. So hit like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll be trying to come out with more and more videos, especially as I get settled into my new shop, get my lift, and get settled into the house. It's all crazy right now. So hopefully you like this. If you want to help me make more videos, get new stuff, um, hit me up on Patreon. You can, uh, you know, a dollar a month or something. I don't know. Whatever you want. Then you can message me and give me ideas for the next videos. Uh, but yeah, till next time, wrench on.